Good morning boys and a very warm welcome back. Uh, we thought we would put together a video for you this morning because of COVID and the regulations we can't gather you all in the hall which is what I would love to do to see you and to speak with you but we thought we would put together just a quick video to give you all of the information that you need and to try as far as we can to provide some reassurance for you. We've missed you, we have missed you terribly and we are very keen to have you back in the building but we also know that for um, some of you, you are going to be really concerned about how you're getting your grades this year. What does it mean for your future? What will happen to the work that you've done on lockdown? You'll have so many questions and throughout the video, various people are going to speak to you and provide some reassurance. But I just wanted to say to you that we're in a very different situation. Last year, we were awarding grades and the um, process was done really without any evidence. This year, it's very different. The awarding organisations that you complete your exams with, like SIA and VTEC and so on, they want evidence. So our plan, as we've developed it over the last few days, has really been to look at where can we get that evidence? Where can we provide assessment, which will give you the chance to do your very best and to get grades which reflect your ability? Nobody's gonna be disadvantaged. Absolutely not. I will not be having that. I'll be making sure that you get what you are capable of and your teachers have got a good plan. So Miss Farquhar is going to talk to you because primarily she has been looking after this piece of work and she will be the person you go to with any of your questions or your queries. And then you're going to hear from your year heads and um, people in the, in the teams attached to you who will give you the guidance and the support that you need. But please just be reassured, we're really, really glad to see you. We're going to help and support you and we're going to make sure that nobody is disadvantaged by what has happened. So I'm going to come around to classes this morning um, as well as you haven't watched this video. So I'm really looking forward to seeing you as well. Welcome back. Hello, gentlemen. Really great to have the opportunity to speak with you again. I just want to provide you with some reassurance about your return to school and what the next number of weeks are going to look like. I know for you as year 13, you have had a really difficult year and equally so for year 14. So I'm going to talk to you about how grades are going to be awarded this year and the shape of the weeks. So you're coming back to us, you're back on the 22nd and it will be normal timetable for you from the 22nd, that first week and the two days before Easter. So you will finish with us on the 30th. And that lead in of seven days will give us the opportunity to get you back into routines, back into the mindset of your different subjects and really thoroughly equipping you with what you need to know for your return to us after Easter. Of course, as there always would be in the summer term for year 13 and 14, a good quantity of work to do. And your teachers will equip you with clear lists of what you need to be going away to learn. When you return after Easter, for most of you, there will still be no tests or assessments. I'll talk to you about just the terminology um, that I'm using in a second. But I do want to really strongly reassure you that we're going to provide you with as much teaching and structured, structured revision as possible before we go about accumulating any further evidence for your grades. So when you're back on the 12th of April, we will have another week, two weeks of teaching. Now there may be some subjects who will want to do an assessment perhaps from the 19th of April, but in the whole, the assessments won't begin until the 26th of April. And we'll make sure that they are as spread out as they can be over the period of the end of April up until mid-May. Now, that's for CA qualifications. Obviously, many of you are on qualifications that are not assessed by exams. Some of you are on subjects that are assessed by exams and coursework. So for the BTECs, some of you will have had exams, some of you won't. And we'll talk to you in detail from your, your curriculum leaders and your subject teachers about arrangements for those subjects. But for your portfolio subjects, they will continue largely as they would have normally. 
Also, for your GCS, or sorry, for your AS and A2 qualifications, many of you will have had the benefit of a, an optional unit that was going to be omitted. So your teachers will have talked to you about that already. So for many of you in year 13 and 14, you were down to one module that you were studying intensely. So when we come into the period of assessment and tests, and I do need to stress that they are assessments, they are tests, in the, the manner that you would be familiar with in class tests. We will not be taking large groups of pupils into the hall. So those will run in your normal classes. We'll have given you as much time as we can to teach you and ensure that you have thorough revision in place and that you have a really secure knowledge of the content that will be on the assessments. Now with regards to assessment design, they will be largely from past papers and mark schemes and in the case of SIA and other exam boards such as WJEC, past papers and new exam papers that have been specifically tailored to match the content that you have covered and that you have a really secure knowledge of. Our teachers have been working really hard in preparing those materials so please be reassured that there is going to be nothing that will throw you or that you will be unfamiliar with or that you will be unprepared for. So your VTEC OCR portfolio subjects will continue as normal. There will be some CA qualifications where perhaps you have a coursework unit and you will be able to still benefit from the work that you have done there. So will, we will look to use as wide a range of evidence that minimises any pressure on you in this period going forward. We'll also make good use of Wednesday afternoon time to support you, whether that be in particular subjects or in equipping you with the revision, the study skills, the learning to learn strategies that you need to succeed so that the evidence that you produce is the best quality evidence that you can to allow us to confidently award you grades. We do need to keep the evidence that you produce and teachers will have time set aside to standardise and moderate that work. What that means is that a group of teachers will mark together and they will cross mark. That's a really important part of the process to ensure that there's fairness and that there's consistency of standards across the boys model as a centre. So you should be reassured by that. That means that the, the marking will be checked, it'll be double checked, and then there will be meetings as there were last year. There'll be a slightly different focus this year, really focusing on the evidence that the department are putting forward, um, where we will discuss the evidence that have produced and how that warrants the grade that the department are proposing. So those meetings will happen as late as they can so that we have as much time to teach you, assess you and to not feel terribly overwhelming. So I hope that that provides some reassurance for you. I know that there has been a lot of uncertainty and a lot of discussion on social media about the process, but please trust that we got through, yes, a slightly different process last year, and we are well accustomed to preparing boys to get them the grades that reflect their ability. So it will be the same this year. We have a clear plan in place. Teachers have had two staff development days to prepare for this. There's lots of discussion amongst teachers within departments and with us to make sure that this plan best fits your needs. So I'm going to hand over to Mr McBride to talk you through the detail of your first week back. Great to talk to you, gentlemen. Welcome back, gents. Um, it's good to see you all. Um, and it has been a long run of remote learning for you. Finally, that has come to an end and we're welcoming you back into the school building, which I have to say is great. Um, it's not the senior school experience that you will have expected. It's not the senior school experience that we wanted for you. Um, but unfortunately, it's the senior school experience that we're having to deal with at the moment. I hope you realise, and, and we certainly do, that, that school now is the best place for you. We, are, um, we have an excellent plan in place that Ms Farquhar has already been through. The details of that you will be uh, 
talk through with by each of your teachers. Um, so if you're not 100% sure at this point in time, don't worry. Um, there are lots of people who know exactly what's going on and will be there to talk you through it, keep you up to date. Um, but hopefully it has made you feel a wee bit better about your return to school. Um, it certainly is designed to get the very best for you and to ensure that you fulfill your potential, which is always what we um, set out to achieve when anybody joins a senior school here. We will keep you in the loop every step of the way. It's our job to make sure that you're not in the dark. We're not going to do anything that hasn't been, you know, you haven't been briefed on. You're going to know exactly what's happening in each of your subjects, whether it's CO, CR, BTEC. Um, we will keep you up to date. Okay, so make sure that if you have any questions, you ask them, but we will do our best to make sure that you're kept in the loop every step of the way. Just a couple of housekeeping things then from me um, upon our return. From now on, we're going to be maximizing your school day. That means everybody's informed class at the start of the day and we will be maximizing the use of private study as well. So no longer will it be that you just start the day when your subjects start, okay? Everybody's informed class and in private study and we'll be using the time to its fullest potential. And private study has a lot of excellent uh, uh, you know, advantages and we want to make sure that you're using those. And so that's gonna be a big change for you from before Christmas, okay? Um, we'll still be in our zones. So year 13 will still be in the media, or sorry, the geography zone and year 14 will still be in the media zone. Um, and we'll still be sticking to all of the health and safety protocol that we had before um, in terms of moving around the building and uh, all of that. You will be briefed on the health and safety, any health and safety updates by Mrs. Black as well. So just keep that in mind that you'll also be um, updated from that point of view. Wednesday afternoons now will become highly structured for you, okay? No longer will we be running enrichment on a Wednesday afternoon. We will be structuring it from a learning to learn point of view. I know Ms. Farquhar already mentioned that for you, um, but certainly this will be used for revision, for catch up, um, and for subject specific issues that we might need to help you out on. Um, certainly we will be structuring that and everybody will be uh, expected to attend those. So make sure that you have that in your plan also. Um, from the point of view of private study, um, I would like if everybody could bring in a laptop if they have uh, been issued one by the school, certainly bring it in. If you have your own, certainly bring it in. Um, private study is somewhere where you will need to be working and so we won't always have the facility to let you go up to a room with computers or whatever it might be. So if you have a laptop from school or a personal laptop, please bring it in because that will make our life a little easier. For pupils in the ALC schools, you'll go back to going to the ALC schools for your classes at the designated times um, and things will run as normal from that point of view. You'll be briefed on what their plans are for their um, assessments when you attend the, the schools that you're going to, okay? Lastly then, from this point of view, please bring in any materials that you've been assessed on prior to Christmas, okay? Any folders that you have, anything that a teacher might need to see, please bring it in, make sure that you have it with you. If you haven't brought it in today, that's fine, but please do ensure that it comes into your teacher. And if you're not sure about what that might be, ask your subject teacher and they'll let you know. From my point of view then, in order for us to get the best out of you, you need to work with us. We've sort of been saying all year that we need your best work now, and that's more important now than ever. The next few weeks you've been talked through by Ms. Farquhar. You'll get more detail over the, the next few days as you go through the different classes, you meet your different teachers again, but certainly we need you to give us your best work and we need that every single day from you. We're gonna have three weeks of teaching um, and then a three week window of assessment. And that's specifically, I suppose, for the, the CA subjects, but also the BTEC subjects, WJC, et cetera. You need to make sure that we're getting your best work today. We're there for you as we always have been. And hopefully you've, you've, you've felt that during lockdown. Myself, Mr. Wilson, Ms. McGibbon, Ms. Uh, Ms. Stephan will all be working with you to ensure that any issues that you have, we're there to support you through them, be that subject specific or personal. Also, you have your form teacher, your class teachers who will be able to give you any guidance or support that you might need. So make sure that you reach out because that's our job. The last thing I want to say then is, is let's, let's go at this. Let's really attack the next few weeks. Let's make sure that you put as much effort as you can in to maximize your potential and to fulfill your potential. My job and the job of the senior team is to ensure that you leave here with as many options as possible. The next few weeks is going to be so important in setting that up. So please make sure that you are working with us 
and that you're listening to the guidance that you get so that we can maximize your potential, give you options and send you off to the next stage of your education so that you can be successful in the future. I'll see you around in the next few days. If you have any questions, please come and see me. Okay?